So if there's a cockfight, I'll turn the camera back on. Ni hao ma, ni chilo ma. Today's video is a little different. I'm going to discuss the future of this channel, some concerns I've had, and also I'm going to show some footage which isn't that different. It's me walking around pointing and saying random ass stuff at objects, things, and people. The footage I'm going to show of me pointing at stuff is something I shot a while ago but just never published. It was uh, me walking around a fancy mall, Central Festival to be exact, that's a really loud motorcycle. It's a few days before lockdown and it was for, yeah, it was, it was literally like within a week of things locking down, like this mall closing for months and they had an exotic pet show and we're in the midst or the beginning of a pandemic that had to do with exotic animals in a wet market in, in Wuhan, China. Before we get into that, welcome to my new condo. Things are coming along pretty good. In a few weeks, I'll release a video, you know, kind of like showing the place and the grounds and all that. My rent, bills, um, you know, point at furniture and stuff, say how much I paid for it, you know, how to furnish a partially unfurnished apartment in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Speaking of a future video, today I'm going to discuss the future of my channel and the present condition of it. I don't want to say it's dying, but it's, it's kind of dying right now. Um, like kind of a slow death since like July-ish. If I'm reading the numbers right, it's basically saying that YouTube has slowed down promoting my videos. Like the percentage of people clicking on my thumbnails isn't like a bad number. It's not, you know, the best number, but it's pretty much similar to how it's been for the past over a year. The percentage of people clicking on my dopey face in a thumbnail saying blah, blah, blah in Chiang Mai. But my views are way, way, way down and they're getting worse. I have over a thousand subscribers. And my tra traffic is like way worse than when I had under 700, maybe even under 600 subscribers. And the weird thing is, is during lockdown, as I discussed in other videos, my production kind of slowed down. Like instead of posting every week, I posted every couple other weeks. And my traffic, my channel was just growing at that point. But then when I started posting once a week, the numbers started going down like a month afterwards. And when I say, like I said, when I, when I say they're going down, they're going way down. Like it's pretty concerning. So what's the future of this channel? Well, I want to keep on making videos and I am really grateful for the people who do tune in, um, leave comments, watch or subscribe or, or just people who watch my videos. I mean, I'm pretty flattered, but nevertheless, you know, I want to expand my audience and it seems like it's less and less. Like I, like my number of subscribers isn't growing at all. My view time's down. My views are down. Um, I mean, my, cause I have been making videos around 15 minutes to help my watch time. And like I said, you know, I'm very grateful for the people who do tune into my videos, but I want to expand my audience, which seems to be less and less as my channel mature. Maybe in the near future, maybe YouTube will be kind to my channel again and promote it to how it was before. But it's like I said, I, I keep on saying, it seems to be getting worse as time goes on for the past couple of months. These videos take a lot of my time. And you know, I know some of them look kind of half-assed, but I do put a lot of time and in, time in thought into them, especially the editing. And you know, I'm not like, I'm not like retired or have some kind of like huge stream of income. So like, like most people, time is money. I'm not going to ditch this channel anytime soon. I don't want to start up a new one. I mean, there's literally blood, sweat and tears have gone into building this channel up and building up its content and building an audience and a community. 
But, you know, something needs to be done. I mean, one thing that I'm going to do, which is something I've done before, link above, I'm going to do like a 30 second like channel promo video for like a Google ad. So it'll play before or it'll be like a little ad on the side of other YouTube channels, kind of like promoting my channel. It did help my channel to grow. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I need to do something. I, I need to kind of figure out like kind of like rebranding it or kind of like slightly fine tuning the direction of it. Kind of what's going on, what's kind of bouncing around in my head. I see my channel doing crappy is kind of a gift. It's kind of like an opportunity to kind of like hit the reset, kind of like rebrand, rethink, you know, what I want to put out there in the world with this channel. Kind of like, you know, kind of like when people do move to another country. I mean, okay, they say no matter where you go, you bring yourself along. But there is, of course, there is, there is a value to kind of like uprooting and going someplace else. And I, I kind of feel right now because my channel isn't doing Blockbuster, that it is kind of a way for me to kind of rethink and just kind of like um, rejuvenate myself and my channel and you know, like I said, what I, what I put out to the world. Sorry to bring you guys along down this rabbit hole, but this, this is kind of what's bouncing around me noggin. All right, let's move on. So here's some footage of me at Central Festival buying my girlfriend a birthday present. Like I mentioned, this is a couple days before lockdown and a couple of days, this is a couple of days after my friend passed away. So I was in, I was in quite a mood. I was pretty shot when I went to this, went to this mall. Okay, I should mention, I wasn't sure if I should put this video out like the week that I shot it because I wasn't sure what was going on with the pandemic. I didn't wanna make it look like I was making jokes and being all happy and stuff during you know, a very situation, you know, that was going on, on a, in a, around the world. So I, I didn't feel it was appropriate to put it out. But you know what? Watching it months later, it's like, you know what? This is very appropriate. I think it's appropriate to put it out now because we are still going on. There's, this is still going on. This isn't over. And it's felt more in some places than in others. So, you know what? I... I'm rambling. This is a rambling ass video. Enjoy the footage. All right, I'm on my way to Central Festival. I'm gonna get my girlfriend a present and it's around 7.07. So let's take a look at what's going on at Central Festival during this time of crisis. Actually, there's more motorbikes than I thought there would be. So people are coming to the mall. Yeah, the bar's gonna be closed for a couple weeks all throughout Chiang Mai, um, near my home, out in the city and all that. So yeah, there's kids over there uh, skateboarding. Good to see that uh, skateboarding kids aren't scared off by the virus yet. Central Festival. A couple weeks from now, we were supposed to go to Pattaya. Well, you know, with the whole thing with the virus and all that, we decided to cancel it. Air Asia gave us refund on three round trip tickets, so good on them. But the makeup for it, there's something here at Central Festival. I feel like I'm in Pathia. Lucky ball. Uh, you know what? I'll see the hand sanitizer. I'm not going to touch that ball. All right, off to buy a present for my girlfriend's birthday. I don't want to say how old she's going to be, but she's going to be 40. So I got to get her something special. There's a special store for her birthday present. It's not the iPhone store. I'm not that nice of a guy. I don't think she wants an iPhone. She likes Android. Nobody's perfect. Uh, not too many people here, but it's not dead as other places. But I'm sure the overhead's pretty crazy here. Oh, there's an owl. Yeah. Oh god, there's a bunch of weird exotic birds. Hopefully they don't have any bats. Oh god, there's a bunch of oh god, there's animals all over the place. Oh god, there's deer and cages. 
That is definitely a gangster dog. I don't, honestly, you know, I just can't. I, I came here to get a birthday present and head back home. Instead you see like a bunch of random animals during a pandemic caused by like animals being all together i know i know it's different circumstances and out oh, this out oh, i yeah I, i'm gonna go home I, i need to buy what i need to buy then i need to head home where's the store at oh okay i see it all right see you someplace See someplace different. I don't know. You know, I might go into the store. I might go into the store, and there might be a cock fight. So if there's a cock fight, I'll turn the camera back on. But more likely, next time you see me, I'll be outside or walking somewhere different than right here. All right. Okay, I bought the present, but all I know is my chin is protected from any kind of virus or pollution. I mean, it's a little dead, but like I said, it is a Thursday night, but there's definitely, I must say there's definitely not as many people as there's normally. All right, mission accomplished, onward home. Yeah, this is kind of creepy. Yes, you are correct, my friend. That is pretty creepy, and things are still pretty creepy. Well, that's the video. Please comment below. Let me know about the Central Fest video I just showed, and um, yeah, also let me know what you think about, you know, what I talked about, about rebranding, rethinking, trying to have a fresh approach, or just a slight fine tune of my channel. If you want to contact me, click on the Instagram link down below, send me a direct message. Please subscribe. I need the subscribers, baby. And if you're subscribed, please click that bell. You might get notified when I put out new content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, no matter who you are or where you are, peace. Oh, no, did I have the mic pointing the wrong way?